Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at the demo for Pacific Drive. So hopefully you guys can strap in and come for a nice scenic drive with me. Let's go. New game, yes. Uh, all the settings should be fine. I haven't changed anything. Let's, let's go. So this is the first mission of the game in the demo. In 1947, the Olympic uh, Peninsula became the staring ground for promising new technology. As rumors of its utopian creation spread, so did its evils. In 1995, the government walled off the section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. 30 years the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. These are their stories. What happens inside was never disclosed. Can't be that bad, right? Just as long as we got our little car, we can take us anywhere. So we got an address. Deliver, unload, clean. Okay. South of the barrier. Do we want lights on? Nah, we don't want to put us into... Oh, there we go. But we have to, you know, put us in gear. I need to get us here. Look behind us. I don't know what side of the road we're supposed to be on. I'm gonna pick the left side of the road. And maybe a little bit of right side of the road. Wipers would see. That's very nice. I guess we need to have those on. Just a little bit. A lot of it. Oh, it's really coming down, isn't it? The closer we get, the uh, more the weather is crazy. I'm trying to be a good driver. Stick to my side of the road, but look how windy this is. some bubble headlamps. That's what we need. Oh, we're going extremely fast here. Oh, our radio is going all static -y. Oh, Jesus. What was that? What the fuck's happening? Okay. Warning. Can't read that. Save our power. I don't... fuck was that? Oh, 
There's a lot of uh weird just drive over it. That's all we need. Just continue to drive forward. Well, I don't think we need the wipers on. Jesus. Well, quick, turn, turn the wipers on. Anything that can protect us. Fear itself. My eyes, I have been flashbanged. So are we inside the exclusion zone now? Maybe we are. Yes, we are. Find transportation. We need something cool. We need a car or something. Hold a crouch. Do we have a punch? Do we have a kick? Yes, we. What was that? Hello? Someone out there? Hello? Hello? Uh, what a swan. I... Just the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Oh, uh, yep. Install the tire. We need a door. I'll get in the car. <laughs> How do I get in? Okay, we just press E. Not the engine, turn it on. Yes, it's back, it's back. This is Tobias Barlow and Francis Cook, located in mid zone sector B. Do you read me? I'm picking uh, up read your you. distress signal in the outer zone. Oh, my doors open. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey, Francis, come here. Yes, it's urgent. Leave that I'm just driving forward. For a second. Something is out there. Yeah, I'm out there. Unless you mean something else, then. Hey, we got a live God, line. I hope not. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? They, 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 they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. Oh, shit, I'm hydroplaning. Could they, I mean... They're from outside? They're a preacher? Yes. Hey, hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's gonna scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can, and be quick about it. Do I have a fuel fuel tank in the back here? Okay. This is an insanely small one. Where's the big? Where's the big uh, jerry cans? That's what we call them over here, jerry cans. I don't know. You guys called them something different? Probably. Should allow me to look around, that'd be more creepy. Store it there. Well, well. 
hate that. Did we go oh, in, way open, Paul. in the wrong area? Flip on the spectrometer. I've seen that nope. way before, before, but where? No kidding. But it be right the east. A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. Okay, so we got a little no, no, no. compass. Well, what we should be looking at is how fast this creature seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy Christ! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'm killed to know how a combustion Interesting. is chugging away out there. Okay, what let's is, not get ahead of ourselves. What is a remnant? Oh shit! To safety, then we can look into whether that car is a remnant or not. In my heart of hearts, I already know they're back, baby. Okay, so a remnant is something that works in the exclusion zone, maybe. Dad back back from? You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I... Oh, oh my You head. okay? <sighs> Put on mechanic's eye. Hello, Put yourself uh, up into your wounds at the first aid station. Dr. Ophelia Turner, who sent a preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant. <laughs> Which has taken the form of a car, and well, uh, you're on the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, okay, pull right, the like car. Said, super officials on business. Protocol uh, demands that you keep them alive until we can get them to safety. Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I personally written. That's ten years and seventeen volumes. And <sighs> Oh, that voice like a nail gun to the skull. Okay, so we got some so, weird mechanic uh, vision going on here. Breach, uh, how do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. Wait. I am I one of those. Remembered. Damn, why or how you got here? You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell it's out of my craft zone. a replacement door. Crew door. Okay, where do we have to open the headset? Me. The barrier wall is as far as it gets. Breaches trying to Crew get door. in as it is we against need anyone scrap or metal. anything trying to leave. We have to yeah. find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. Do I deconstruct stuff? Okay, we need some scrap metal. Oh, uh, C. <laughs> Get the items from the abandoned card behind the garage for the checklist. We gotta find a pry bar. Got anything in here? Yes. Yes. He's real mine now. Um quick with right click. And we can press left click to jimmy this open. Is there a way to like transfer the Um, from 
Search the dumpster by the garage for your crucial items that you're unable to craft. Okay. Thank you, I guess. Oh, a little bit of voxels happening here. Give me all of this scrap, the abandoned wheels, everything. Apparently, uh, and wheels are made out of duct tape. Door and boot. Done. Why do I need a control? Uh, why do I need a pry bar when I could just kind of scrap the entire thing? Door. Craft. Nice. Get the repair party from the locker. Huh? Repair party. Chemicals? Yes, please. Spare tire? Always want a spare tire. First aid. It. Okay, so this is kind of like an inventory management game as well. Um, with the repair buddy. Oops. Um, okay, so we got to repair. The steel door heavily, heavily damaged. Tires, so we get the tires as well. A bumper. Sure, let's let's put some on the bumper. I'm guessing it wants us to, uh, yeah, fix up this stuff. Scan for flat tire. C. Okay. Repair the flat by crafting using a ceiling kit or replace the flat with the spare. Well, let's craft the ceiling, uh, ceiling kit. Pin that. Yeah. Where do we get grass from? Sorry, glass. There we go. We get it from the computer. Okay, so let's make our filling kit. And left click. Very nice. The fact that that was only one. Kind of annoying. Okay, we should be good. Scan the loose wheel. Which one's loose? This one? Get the mechanics kit. Hmm. 
<laughs> Done. Outfit the car. What does that mean? Still the cardboard boxes in the trunk. Yes. Instilled the crafting mat in the trunk. I'm just stealing all this this woman's stuff. Oh, it's there's the a octopus. Prototype of mine in the garage. The octopus. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. What a next to me. Interesting. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's my very own invention. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use it. Uh, pick up the gear blueprint in front of the door. Okay. Impact hammer. Um, oh, fuel. How much fuel's in this uh, fuel tank? And we also. Build this up. Oh, we can. Nice. Um, I'll pay you back later. Line the car with the charging station in the parking. You're not aligned. Switch to charge the battery. Let's go. If you're all set, take a look at the projector against the wall. This thing? Nope. This thing? This is the zone. Within these borders, all matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. Okay. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. A mile of grass can turn into 10 miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does, constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're right. completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now, and that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If okay, we're so going that's where to we gotta find go. your way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go Ooh. hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then Did show it. you where you need to go. And that's abilities, I guess. Now we just go forward. We're missing a back door. Kind of sucks. Three hours drive. No worries. Let's travel there. Your car is your shield. It's how you survive. Okay. Okay, newbie, I'll keep this simple. I don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spot tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. <laughs> 
device is picking. Ah, uh, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Yes, I need one of those. How do we make one of those? Gas cylinder and. Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's sure. coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Transports, homes, outposts, facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. So what are we looking for? We're looking for... Recommended. Black materials. Was this canned food? Interesting. Legend. Look at you, out in the zone, all on your own. They grow so fast, they don't they? Have a torch or something? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too. Okay, Bobby. so we need Hello, our private. I'm still here. So if we do this, then we can put this in here. Surprised we don't have an actual like um something. Let's see. Okay, recommended collect materials. We still need something we still need some kind of another place hey uh, uh, driver I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now oh, can you not I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive I'll keep to the basics I promise they deserve to know what they're getting into fine the hell out of here. That is not nearly enough time to get 55 seconds of counting. Okay. Okay, okay. The remnants in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind until okay. they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. What is that? No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs there we go. broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. No hope. Yeah, we're in danger, apparently. Um... Door 
was kind of like the antenna. Our door's kind of I don't know what's happening here. It's kind of on fire. On electricity. It's okay. Apparently we got no we need gears. Wait, is that a gear? That's tuck tape. Okay, now we can see. A lot in here. I'm guessing gears need to be from like um salvaging. Maybe. It's my pry bar. It open. Inventory full. What can we get rid of? Let's get rid of this. How do we how do we drop this? Okay. I don't know what the hell that is. But let's go down there and collect some plasma. Ah, shit. <laughs> Run. Yeah. Find materials. How do I make a gear? I see. Okay, so I have an impact hammer now. Okay, this game is really kind of creepy. Tourists, huh? We need more plasma. Currently under... Okay, let's, let's V it up. How we doing here, car? Okay, I guess. Get out. So. Um, inventory full, huh? Anything in here that we need? And heal ourselves up.
Okay, it's kind of creepy. Oh no. So let's put all that back into our, well, I'm getting out of here. Oh Jesus, what the, oh shit. Okay, note to self, do not run into those things. is very bad. Nice. You get no plasma from that? Okay, so what was this is heavily damaged? On here. Remember we were in park? Put this in drive. I don't know what the danger is for. But we're back on the road. And we can come back here. I think we gotta fix the, the back left area. Get out. Not then. Okay, well, we're out of repair kit, so I hope that worked. There was definitely like a plasma cell somewhere around here that I didn't pick up. Recommended hand back. Oh my god, there's gonna be so many different things in here. Think in here? Pass. Always good. It's kind of like a surreal game. Kind of feels a bit weird. Plasma. Well, it looks like you're near one of the old guerrilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded okay. its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower up on a hill somewhere. Right. Where is our map? Do we have a map? Is this our map? Okay, let's go there. Our battery is okay. Do we have our lights on? No, we don't. 
I know a shortcut. <laughs> we probably shouldn't be taking our fucking car out in bush fashion. Jesus. Especially when it's like our sole lifeline. A little bit of bumper damage on the top right. Okay, big red thing. Looks like where we have to go. If it's a constant changing of matter, then surely none of this should be recognizable. Which fuel we got? We got plenty of fuel, I think. Let's, let's just go up here. Bam! We need to make a scrapper. Probably. I'll take everything. Okay. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. Uh, to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the arc device display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the arc device to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. We'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Okay. Maybe you should tell me how it works. In case something bad happens, like... Oh, shit. Vehicle protection compromised. Now we're taking actual damage? Is that what it means? Probably what it means. Just squeeze in between these two trees, don't worry about it. Oh, that's... Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face. Recently. You say they haven't exploded in anyone's face. It just literally nearly collapsed in on us. I don't like stuff being in the... And this one... Looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Oh, uh, drive, I guess. Drive downstairs. 
downhill? Sure. Oh, that looks insanely bad. Hold on, kids. Stable, unstable, corrupted, success. Oh, well, well. You're alive. We're certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they're the rodents, but it's Excuse not me? like it's completely untested. But anyway, it's, it's kind of a bit fucked up. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only okay. way to get back with all your marbles intact. But we got all now, this stuff take those now. Parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks Build to the antennas. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up I'm going to trash the place. The anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. I am. We clear. We clear. Fabricates. Okay, here's the scanning antenna. We gotta put it on the roof. Uh, where is the roof? Give me that open. For some reason, I don't know why. Okay, we're just causing, uh, you know, we're just breaking as much shit as we can. How do I get on the roof? Ah, of course. These stairs that we saw when we first got here. Uh, that's certainly something. Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. I mean, it's install handbrake. Sick. The back of the storage locker, huh? this okay, how do I there we go make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out you'll need the space something to unload my trunk. Oh, a transfer trunk. Exactly what we need. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route platter. Give it a look after you're done. Peeping through my okay, crash. that was the demo for Pacific Drive. Hopefully you got a good look at the gameplay, even though my gameplay wasn't great. Uh, but yeah, so thank you for playing the preview of Pacific Drive. You won't be able to leave on your next drive, but you're free to explore the auto show and route planner. Take a spin in the test track. That's kind of cool. Um, obviously, yes, it's a demo, so you'll have to redo this when the game comes out. But yeah, I think this is one of the most interesting games I've seen so far. 
and not only is it an interesting game, it has some really cool mechanics uh, and kind of art style. The whole creepiness of like the isolation with no real enemies except for like the survival. Yeah, I, th I think it's really good, uh, but you can play it soon. This game is coming out on the 22nd of February, which is not too long to wait. So if you really like this game, go and check it out. Wishlist them on Steam, uh, ready for winter for when it comes out. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.